The Singapore Grand Prix takes place on a floodlit street circuit where sharp twists and turns are plentiful. Choosing the right grandstand can be overwhelming, so let's run through your best options. The main grandstand in Singapore, also referred to as the pit grandstand, is positioned along the start-finish straight, looking towards the pit lane and the pit building. If you'd like a vantage point that allows you to see into the team garages and into the pit lane, then the main grandstand is the grandstand for you. Seating to the left-hand side of the grandstand is positioned opposite the podium, and seating towards the middle of the grandstand is positioned along the starting grid. Super pit ticket holders are seated in the upper rows in selected blocks with the best views of the team garages, starting grid or finish line. The pit grandstand is also the best place to see the pre-race build-up as the drivers prepare for lights out. Positioned at the end of the start-finish straight, the Turn 1 and Turn 2 grandstands have panoramic views over the first three corners of the circuit. These grandstands are roughly positioned at a right angle to each other. The Turn 1 grandstand sits parallel to the start-finish straight, and the Turn 2 grandstand faces down the start-finish straight, with some seats having a head-on view of the cars as they hurtle towards the first corner. It's a medium speed corner entering into turn one, and at turn two, it's important for the drivers to prepare their line for turn three. The turns one and two grandstands are priced at a premium, and rightly so. This is a prime vantage point, perfectly positioned for some first corner wheel to wheel action and late out braking moves. The Bay Grandstand is both the largest and the lowest priced grandstand at the Marina Bay Street Circuit. The Bay Grandstand is a permanent grandstand, looking out towards a floating platform used for various outdoor events. The grandstand and the floating platform are separated by a road, which becomes part of the Formula One circuit, with the cars passing from right to left between turns 17 and 18. Some views can be limited, and upgrading to the Connor, Stamford or Padang grandstands is worth considering. The Empress grandstand is positioned between turns 11 and 12, just before the drivers enter the vaulted arch of the Anderson Bridge, heading towards the Fullerton Hotel. This grandstand gets you really close to the action, as the cars flick right, then left, riding the kerbs and kissing the wall on the exit of turn 12. The Stamford Grandstand is positioned along the short section of track between turn 7 and 8. Cars approach from the fastest part of the circuit, before braking hard for the sharp left-hander of Memorial Corner, then pass in front of the Stamford Grandstand before accelerating away towards turn 8. Positioned just before the braking zone of Turn 14, this section of circuit has provided some rare overtaking opportunities in the past. With heavy braking into a 90 degree corner, it can be pretty challenging for the drivers, and by this point, tyres can be getting overheated too. The runoff zone here has been the final resting place of several cars and drivers over the years. Located on a straight part of the Marina Bay Street Circuit between turns 9 and 10, the Padang Grandstand is a good vantage point to see the cars at high speed. With no braking zones and no DRS, you're unlikely to see any overtaking here. Padang is also the best grandstand for quick access to the evening concerts, which take place just behind the grandstand. Premier Walkabout is the Marina Bay Street Circuit's name for general admission. With a Premier Walkabout ticket, you can explore the circuit, stopping to watch the on-track action from bleachers located around the circuit. 
Views are okay, but it's first come first serve for the best spots. Thank you.